We've got Sherman Price with us, and we're talking about King of the Cage Horizon. Thank you for the time, sir. Heard you're going to be in a main event. Yes, sir. It's a pretty big uh, progression, but uh, that's cool. Yeah. Um, I just can't wait to get back to fighting. I've been training for a long period of time, it feels like now. So. Was it a, a special moment being told you were going to be in the main event? I don't, I don't know if it's special, but it's more of a, like, oh, hey, look, I'm in the middle of poster now. <laughs> like that type of thing. Oh, that's fantastic, you know. Um, and I'm excited, you know. Um, I've been putting in a lot of work and training consistently, so I'm, I'm glad that I get the opportunity. Well, but talking about being on the poster, I heard you kind of have some superstition for being on the poster. But no, man. You know, we kind of we kind of got a little a little superstition on there. Um, I don't know. I guess it kind of got broke the last two times. I guess I was on post with you, so it So it's like 50-50 right 50 /50. now? 50 It is cool. It all worked out in the end, you know. Um, everything that we do is, is for the love of this anyway, so never stop the training. So, you know, whether you know whether opponent's here, whether opponent's not, yeah, it's not going to really stop anything, you know. It, when I do get an opponent, I just get to practice what I, you know, get to actually app, apply what I've been learning. So. So for those that didn't know what we were talking about, Sherwin has had, I guess, two occasions where you've been on the poster and haven't had an opponent show up, and now yeah. two occasions where it did work out being been on the poster. at least like three times where people would just kind of fall off at the last minute or don't show up the way. And so, you know, um, I think anybody else that's ever fought on any card anywhere can understand that. You know, it's a, it's a lot of people out here that uh, like the idea of fighting and not very many that I actually like to fight. What do you like about the idea of fighting? Um, you know, like, this is just a, the pure sense of being a human being, man. You get to kind of, you get to have that one moment not worry about work, stress, life, you know, and you get to just be the person you're going to be, you know. Um, and I mean, you get rewarded with violence. Who doesn't, get, who doesn't like creating some violence every day? How does going through the trials and tribulations of being a martial artist and competing affect your everyday life and your outlook on, I guess, other situations that people that don't have this experience would look at kind of adversity. Yeah, it dims everything down. You know, I'm not worried about, you know, the lunch lady, or the lady in the lunchroom I'm talking too loud, and that's like the least of my worries, because I just got, my foot hurts from kicking somebody. Uh, you know, it's, it dims down everything else. So. You know, you just uh, you start to realize what's really important, and, you know, what's worth getting mad about, what's not worth getting mad about, you know. So uh, it makes you appreciate a lot of things in a different in a different light, I think. Last time we saw you, a dominant performance out of the Santa Ana Star Center. Where have you looked to improve in your game since then? You know, uh, it was super dominant, but I didn't really get to... Uh, I didn't really like trade with it, with the cat as much as I wanted to, or you know stand there and you know actually use some of my Muay Thai or kickboxing. Uh, you know I think I think the biggest improvement we're working on is just actually letting that go more and not picking picking the weaknesses so quickly. Um, you know we, we work so hard on these things. It's you know we got to put them put them to work. So um, I think for me just you know. Uh, Exhibiting some more of my skill, I think, is, is what we're going to go for this next time. You took the path of least resistance last time, and it sounds like you're almost disappointed that there was so little resistance. You know, it, it wasn't. You know, it wasn't necessarily about the resistance. I just thought that. Uh, you know, last time it wasn't necessarily. I mean, I won, so I wasn't really you know upset about it or anything. But I, you know, I wasn't necessarily satisfied in the amount of. Uh, you know, my skill I got to show. I mean, I took the guy down, beat him up, choked him out, and that was it. You know, and uh, I mean, that's great, but that's not necessarily that's not necessarily what I practice. You know, that's not really really my fighting style. I just happened to be there. And I kind of feel like that's what you've done the last two times, Adam. Mm -hmm. And that's that's kind of where we go back to working on, you know, letting some more of the other skills that I have shine through. Uh, you know, we're we're wrestling heavy gym here. I mean, we do wrestling every day, so it's it's hard to to you know, resist a shot when it's wide open, you know, or when you realize that somebody has no takedown defense, it's really hard not to shoot in on them and lift them up and slam them on the ground. Uh, 
but I think this go around, you know, I think it's time to uh, to exhibit some good, some other skill. Now, after the fight, I heard that there's something that makes it all worth it for you afterwards. What is it? No, oh, man, we, we totally do all this for the donuts, man. At least a donut. Try not to eat too many donuts. Um, do you know, man, it's a, this whole process is a long, arduous process. You spend a lot of time in here working out, training, having to watch every single thing that you eat, you know, even down to your water intake. You know, after a fight, it's, it's nice to have something that you've been thinking about. Even, you know, I don't necessarily eat donuts all the time, but after a fight, it's like a perfect war. Eat a donut, sit on the couch, and relax. You know? Is it a specific donut that you, like, crave by the end of this, or it's just all the donuts? <laughs> it's all the donuts. Oh, um, hopefully not too many of them. And what's the relaxation gonna be like afterwards? You put so much into the camp. What's the the plan for some downtime? Man, I'm so I'm, I I train here a lot, and I work you know 40 to 60 hours a week already. So at my job, so I just spend time with my kids, sit on the couch, enjoy my house. You know, uh, that's that's what relaxing me. I don't necessarily need to go and do anything spectacular. Spending time with my kids, you know, uh, harassing them a little bit, and just uh, just just cool. Got a message for everybody why we should see them out there at the Embassy Suites on Saturday night? Yeah, come out and see some some exciting some exciting stuff, you know. Um, I'm really hoping to put on a show and uh, show some of the other technique that I don't necessarily exhibit uh, outside of the gym. So uh, I think it'll be a good time. Thank you for the time, sir. Appreciate it.